What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Uh, I haven't done an unboxing video in a really long time because at a certain point they all start looking the same, right? You've seen one fiberglass rocket get unboxed, you've seen them all get unboxed, you've seen cardboard plywood in a pile and a plastic nose cone. You've seen it over and over. So it seems a little bit repetitive and unnecessary, but this time it's something new, at least to me. A lot of people have been very familiar with this brand for a long time, but I purchased my first Mac Performance kit. I ran into Mike, who is the new owner of Mac Performance while I was at Midwest Power, and I got to check one of the kits out in person for the first time, and I was super impressed with how beefy and everything it is, so decided to buy one. And I wanted to take you guys on the little unboxing journey here as well, so we get some first impressions on it together. It is a four inch black fly, which is really cool. Rocket with five fins. And I added the Wildman fiberglass nose cone for the head end dual deploy setup. But everything is made from canvas phenolic, which is a completely new material to me. And I'll be honest, initially I was like, yeah, I mean, it seems cool, but at the end of the day, it's still phenolic. It's not that beefy compared to fiberglass and blah, 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 blah. But then when I saw one in person, I was like, oh, I see, I get it now. So I'm gonna open her up and uh, let's take a look at it and get some first impressions. People are gonna be like, oh, you already opened it. I just peeled the label off. So. Packing peanuts. What do you think of the quality of those packing peanuts? They're in a bag. Also, first of all, I gotta say the packing quality, crazy. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about these pieces of cardboard. Here it is. Look at that, a nice message. Thank you, Brayden. All right, there it is. Shane, you haven't really experienced the canvas phenolic much either, have you? Check this thing out. Oh, by the way, Mac Performance is doing an extended Black Friday sale right now. So they're doing 10% off specific kits right now, but this is one of them. This is the black fly. Dude, this blade's not doing anything. And initially I thought like most Mac performance kits, I thought like it was the airframe material was the canvas phenolic. And then, you know, everything else was just kind of standard stuff. But the fins are also canvas phenolic. Oh my God, I cannot open this. Imagine the thought of knives cutting things. It's really interesting to see just like phenolic as a plate material. Oh, it smells so good. There you go. The fins are very pretty and beveled. Here you go, Popstar, check it out. Dang, those are beveled sharp. Yeah. That's sick. And like I said, five fins. Can I have that bag? Yeah. Kind of feeding the uh, five fins instead of four or three, which is, you know, whatever. It's going to add a little bit more drag, but it is just a stylistic choice, right? It looks cool. And in a world where a lot of rockets look very similar, it stands out. All right, another stylistic choice. It has a boat tail, which is always exciting. I like boat tails. And I believe, yeah, there it is. Let me just drop everything everywhere. This is the uh, fast back retainer that they also sell and manufacture. And this must be the tip of the nose cone. Bunch of stickers. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. Building instructions. Here's a cool thing. They come with a pre-installed Kevlar leader, which is a really nice feature because uh, there's you know no shortage of arguments on whether gluing to the motor tube or doing a eye bolt and blah, 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 blah is the best way to do things. And I've done it a million different ways on a million different rockets. It's nice to have the peace of mind. There you go, it's just done. That's it. All you have to do is add your own shock cord to there and you're ready to go. Another rocket usually came as delivered with these centering rings on. I have to say though, the fit on everything is so, so nice. Just got a little crooked there, but everything fits together really nicely. Let's see the ultimate test. Oh, 
Okay, it's probably gonna need a little sanding on the edges on that slot, but you know, it is what it is on all of the slots, perhaps, or maybe it's just that fin. No, everything's a little tight. Overall, the fit and finish is pretty nice there. I'm happy about it. The tube is so much stronger and beefier than I thought it was gonna be. Plus, with the canvas phenolic, there's no spirals. I don't know exactly how it's laid up, but it seems like it's pretty similar to like fiberglass cloth in the way that it's put together. And it's just very smooth and very nice. Actually, yeah, I think I can see inside there where the cloth overlaps in the manufacturing process, but it's really smooth and strong and nice, and it's gonna make painting it very, very easy. I don't think it's gonna take much more prep than just a couple coats of primer, and boom, we're ready for paint, which is nice because it puts us sort of on the same playing field as fiberglass, but offers us a lighter alternative than fiberglass. And here's another fun little tidbit about these guys. The full dual deploy setup comes with the electronics bay pretty much entirely pre-assembled, which is really cool and huge props for using wing nuts. Certain people with other YouTube channels like to give me all kinds of ass for using wing nuts on electronics bays, but look how nice and easy that made it. Again, all the fit and finish on all these parts is super, super nice. Canvas phenolic bulk plates slide it out. Boom, 3D printed sled also included with look at all the hardware holding it in place. This is sweet, dude. Love the integration of the Wildman nose cone as well. So this guy's set up for a head end dual deployment. It's gonna be pretty awesome. 54 millimeter motor, more, <laughs> 54 millimeter motor mount, four inch diameter rocket with five fins. It's kind of perfect for what we're up against out here at Lucerne Dry Lake bed with our 7,000 foot waiver. It uses a snap ring style motor retainer, which is pretty similar to the old Giant Leap. Uh, I cannot remember what those things are called. Slimline motor retainers, that's what they were. Looks like it's gonna fit pretty well inside that boat tail, which is pretty satisfying to look at. So, there you go, there's an unboxing. Like I said, I was super impressed with the Mac Performance stuff when I got to see it in person for the first time at Midwest Power. I'm sure I've run into it before, but I've never seen it just raw and unpainted. So I was super excited about it. The stuff seems really, really high quality and all of the sort of pre-assembled or pre-engineered components are super, super nice. Um, I'm probably going to have Shane take this tube and make me a five fin fin jig for this guy because I think that's fun. But uh, yeah. Overall, I just wanted to show you guys uh, we got something sort of newish coming to the channel, new to me. That is anyway, like I said, plenty of people know about Mac Performance and have been around that block a few times, but I've never had the pleasure of building one yet. So off to the races with the four inch Black Fly, which I kind of feel is like sort of their staple kit, the Black Fly. Um, I think I actually gave one away for one of my Patreon things. Somebody picked that when I set a budget to do the the caption contest but overall super super high quality i'm really looking forward to building it and uh yeah they've got a sale going on through i think december 1st is that what i said chains on that fact checking again put this back together yep, oh, i just noticed something beautiful look at the bevel on the all thread it's money, dude. See, like, that's what I'm saying. The fit and finish is really, really there. So yeah, if you want to check one out, they have the Black Fly, the Arcus, and all the other ones that are on sale in a bunch of different sizes. Uh, this one with the dual deploy setup with the fiberglass nose cone was 250, but you can get the single deploy version for quite a bit less than that with the plastic nose cone. And uh, if you don't want to spend that much money or you don't want this big of a rocket, you just want to try the material out. They have a bunch of different sizes. So uh, yeah, go check them out. Our friends over at Mac Performance Rocketry. I'll have a link in the description and uh, the bulk plate wasn't seated all the way. We'll get this thing built and flown hopefully in December. And I don't know, what do you think, Jane? J230, J365, skid mark. Maybe just K555. I don't know, what else do I got in there? J145, I kind of want to put- CTI motors. Uh, I kind of like the rocket. So I don't know if I want to put any new CTI motors in it. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll fly it soon. That's what I'm getting out here. If not fly, definitely get it built soon. Um, 
Special thank you as usual to all my Patreon supporters and channel members whose names are scrolling across the screen right now. If you want to see behind the scenes content and videos that are early released and have no ads, you can join by clicking on the link, going to patreon.com slash rockyflowers or pressing the join button at the bottom of this video. Uh, my name is Braden Carlson. You just watched a Rocky Vlogs video and I'll see you next time.